We've all seen the headlines before. Innocent students and teachers killed in a school shooting. It's happened at Columbine, Newtown, and just this week in Nevada. It's a tragedy and it's disappointing, but that's where we are. So it's our obligation in order to keep our staff and students as safe as we can to look at all avenues. For the past several months, Brenham ISD has been discussing the Brenham Angel Guardian Program, allowing teachers or staff to anonymously volunteer to carry a gun at school to help boost security in the off chance there is a threat on campus. Some believe it's, it's a cowboy type atmosphere, guns on the hip, they're going to walk down the hallway. That is not it at all. It is concealed. If they have students or in a classroom setting, it will be put in a biometric safe. Superintendent Sam Bell adds staff must have their concealed handgun license, go through hours of law enforcement type training and shooting, and pass a psychological exam before being allowed to participate in the program. But not everyone thinks arming staff members with guns is a good idea. Retired Brenham ISD teacher Lysandra Sanders thinks there are other options to consider first. Right now I would like to see more research done on this and just more reasons as to why we need to go to firearms. I personally do not feel comfortable with the teachers carrying them. As a teacher myself, I would be afraid that a kid may overtake me. Bell says, though, the Brenham Angel Guardian program is just a proposal for now because there are still a lot of pros and cons to weigh first. Why wouldn't every district and school in the state look at that issue and just see, is it going to work for your community, for your district? If not, great. At least you look at it and studied it. We're told a timetable hasn't been set yet on when a decision needs to be made by. Currently, there are around 70 other school districts in Texas using a similar plan. In Brenham, Lauren Holman reporting.